I got water. Yes. Okay, has this ever happened to you? This is currently my hot water brusher in the entire RV. Cold, hot. Cold, hot. Yeah. So we gotta figure out what's going on here. I've read that it could be the check valve, but I'll look. While we're messing with the water tank, we're going to go ahead and change out the inner rod uh, as well. So hot water tank, I'm sorry, not hot water tank, water heater maintenance on the way. All right, so one of the first things we're gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over to winterize so that no water is being pushed into the, uh, the hot water tank. And that'll keep the water from building up. And then I'm gonna, I have a little, uh, little low point drain here. Gonna open that up. Also make sure your water heater is off and that way it's not trying to heat up while it's empty. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to relieve the pressure here. And then that way, as I go to drain it, it's not like squirting out on me. Okay, don't laugh in my headgear, but I'm doing this for you. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the anti rod out. Just gonna try to break it. I don't have a socket that's big enough for it. Ideally, you would use a socket, uh, but I do have these, so let's try this. Here we go. Now I know this has nothing to do with the water pressure, but I'm messing with the hot water tank, so I might as well, might as well do it. Look at all the deposits coming out already. Um, this is probably gonna be bad. Well, so much for a clean way of doing this. Water is warm too. There's all my hot water. All right, so this kit actually came with this. How cool is that? So this is actually to, uh, to clean it out. So we're going to use this. How sweet is that? Okay, now we gotta try to clean this thing out.
right, so the next thing we got to do is add some some plumber's tape here to the threads and then put this new anorod rod back in. That's still crazy to me. Look at the difference. Fill this thing up. So I just changed the anorod. rod. I didn't think it would have anything to do with the water pressure, but why not? It needed to be done anyways. Did you show it? It looks, it like, looks like rock candy. It looks like a piece of coral. It looks like rock candy to me. No, it looks like coral. It does. I mean, I guess it is. Like live rock. It's calcium, right? Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's done, but yeah. So now, in order to even get behind that thing, I have to tear my whole bay out, including the Morai tray, then the walls, then I can get to the backside of the hot water tank. Unless you want to ride on the tray. The water tank. Uh, you can't get the walls out with the tray in there. So it's not even an option. Oh well, well, here we go. Yay, one more thing. <laughs> RV life is fun. <laughs> Well, there's no water, so that's a good sign. All right, let's see. Do we see any hoses collapsed? No, not sure exactly uh, what to do, but I know the check valve is typically in there. Yeah, I think it's in that top one. It's supposed to keep water from coming back out. I have drained it down past that point so I'm going to attempt to take it off. I hate working with these PEX pipes just because, or PLEX or whatever they're called, because every time I touch one of the elbows, one of them starts dripping and it's just frustrating. I'm going to do my best to not run into that scenario today. Another thing that I dislike very much is that there's a converter down here. My transfer switch is right here. All my electric stuff is right behind the water. So I'm going to do my best to protect that mess. All right, here we go. Yep, look. I don't know if you can see inside it, but that check valve is, it's just sitting there. Yep, I think mine may have done the same thing that somebody else's did, which is lose the spring. There's this little rubber gasket right here. And I bet that little piece is just sitting in there. Yep. Completely lost its spring. All right. So now we know the problem. What are we gonna do? Well, since this is just a check valve, I'm gonna order one on Amazon now that I know what it is. And then I will come back and replace it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just so we can have some hot water. Time to fill it back up and hopefully it doesn't leak. And hopefully we have hot water pressure because I don't see anything that's collapsed. So if we don't, I don't know what else to do. Hallelujah. I got water. I got water. Yes. If you uh, ever suddenly lose water pressure from the hot water side, but you still have it on the cold side, it's probably the check valve. So I got one on order from Amazon. I put the old one back in without the valve part inside of it so that the water could just flow through. And then I'll switch them back out tomorrow when it gets delivered. Ooh. All right, let me show you what, what we're working with here. So this piece right here is screwed into the check valve 
the check valve is screwed into the, the water tank. So I got to just unscrew that and replace it. Yesterday I just put the, <laughs> the old one back in there, but it didn't have any internal, so it doesn't actually, it's not really a check valve, it's just flowing through at this point, which is fine, but I wanna make sure it, I get the check valve back in there. So that's what I'm doing now. That's it. Took about 15 minutes to get the new one in. I will say it doesn't go, it doesn't screw in quite as far as the uh, the original one did, but it's not leaking, and they have hot water in there, so that's good. All right. Only thing left to do is to put the walls back in and get everything back in here. So let's do that. That does it for today's video. Another crisis averted, or averted. And uh, yeah, check your uh, check valve if you ever experience a sudden drop in pressure, especially on your hot water tank. All right, well, hope you like this video. Leave a comments below if you've had to deal with this. Let me know how you had to resolve it. Give it a thumbs up if you really like it. Make sure you subscribe till the next strange adventure. Keep making your own.